What's up, Rosevans? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a little theory video that I'm putting together. It isn't much a theory, it's more a, a definite thing. Like, I, I think this is 100% confirmed, I definitely think this is what the intention is, and this is really, really cool. All I will say about this is that there are HAPS spoilers, or specifically B7 spoilers, so I would read that before watching this video. If you have read B7, you probably know where I'm going with this. So, let me just introduce by talking about what this image is that I'm putting up on the screen. So, this was a while ago. This was like a year ago now, almost. I think it's a little bit less than a year. And this was created by Lady Fizzy, and it's a big deal. Okay? It's a big deal that this was teased or leaked or whatever happened to it is a big deal that we have it. And why is it a big deal? Well, it's because they are copyrighted pictures. They are copyrighted under Scott Cawthon, which means they are being used by Scott Cawthon. That is the big question. What are the, are the images for? There's another image that was, that was presented as well, which is a load of weird animatronics that we've never seen before. So the real question was, what does this have to do with the FNAF series? Where is this going to fit in? And um, that, was, that was a big deal at the time. And I think it still is a big deal because I have no idea what the animatronics are all about yet. Uh, they could be future animatronics for future games or they could be potential designs, um, like past designs or something. I don't know. But these were made quite a while ago. Like, I think, I, it, at the back of my mind, I recall it being either 2019 or 2020. I think it's 2020. But they were made a very long time ago. In fact, I'm going to play a clip right now of what I said about this specific image uh, when it first came out. This is for something coming up. And it's really strange to me because I have no idea what it could be. It could be for security breach, but... I don't see how this would kind of fit in with Security Breach. Maybe for Tales from the Peterplex, but again, where would these guys come in? Then we have our second big piece of art, and this one is insane. This is our second piece of art. It looks like a banner. That's, that's my first kind of thoughts about this. It looks like a banner of some sort. I don't know, again, where this would fit in, but I did notice the, the moon in the background is very... It stands out a lot, and it's, it's very reminiscent of Moondrop. But I don't know. The picture looks very reminiscent of Ballora, even though it's not Ballora. Um, it just kind of feels ballora y to me. Um, of course, there is the one thing that I haven't pointed out yet, which I'm, which I'm an idiot for not pointing out, which is the boy on the right. There's literally a boy sat in that position, and I have no idea who that could be other than maybe Crying Child. And that's interesting to me if it is Crying Child, because that would mean possibly we could get an Afton Origins game. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this image. So it is called Hallway and Boy, um, because there is a hallway and there is a boy. And it was really, really hard to piece together what this was. Like Security Breach hadn't come out yet, but I saw that there were Security Breach elements. Like there was, there was a clock on the wall that looked like, like Moondrop's face. And I'm thinking, hmm, there could be a connection there. As I stated as well, there looks to be like a Ballora kind of image in uh, on the right. And so, what is this? Well, I believe it is an illustration for the story B7, which is really, really weird. But first, let me just remind you that Tales from the Pizzaplex was started in 2019. They started writing the stories end of 2019. That was before even any of the Fazbear Frights books came out. They had started writing Tales from the Pizzaplex. And so, it makes sense that this artwork was made for one of these stories because they were all already written uh, really quickly or quite a long time ago. Now let me explain why I believe this is representing B7 and why I think this little boy is Billy. Let's start with the first question, why does this represent B7? I think I get a weird sense of kind of melancholy from this image. It's really really weird. There's, it seems very mysterious. I remember uh, in the last video I did on this art, I called it kind of like a crime scene. It would be really cool if there was like a crime scene game, uh, like a FNAF crime scene investigation um, kind of game. Of course, we're not going to get that. That that would be really cool, but I, I doubt that would be an actual FNAF game. But that was an idea that I had. It's kind of, it has this weird mystery behind it. And I had no idea 
what it was. It seems kind of sad. I think it's the color tones that make it seem kind of like homely, but something's off, you know? So the glass shattered on the floor is actually a very big sign that this is connected to B7 because there is a specific line in the story that says that Billy actually shattered a glass on the floor. And this is when he's had a few prosthetics. I think he's like scraping himself across the floor because he can't walk properly. And he's hoping that uh, the more robotic he becomes, um, the easier it will be to, to walk around and stuff. But that is not the case, of course. And you may be thinking, a, a glass shattered on the floor, like, that, that is the evidence you've got right now? Like, yeah, okay, okay, you don't have to make it a meme. But that is genuinely a sufficient piece of evidence, at least in my mind, because it is a part of the story, and it is clearly shown here, it is very much in focus, and really, the other case is, like, what other thing would this be for? Like, where would this picture come in? And that's my big real issue here. If this isn't B7, what is it for? So let's actually move on to the boy because that is where the main stuff happens. So who is this boy? Well, I thought he was like Gregory or related to Gregory at first, but no, this is very, like this is almost definitely Billy, right? He, the first thing is he is wearing gray and white clothing. This isn't just a stylistic choice. This is his, like actual outfit. He wears greys and whites. He only eats greys and whites. And therefore, this kind of has to be Billy. If you look at his foot, that is not a sock. That is a prosthetic limb, right? You can tell by the shininess on the, sh on the, on the foot that it is not a, a cotton material. It is clearly metal or plastic or whatever he's made of. It's metal, right? Prosthetic limbs. Um, that is very clearly a prosthetic foot. If you look at his face, you can now kind of put all the dots together. This is very clearly not human, I would say. Uh, well, it, it looks like a human, of course, but it is definitely more the, the robot type. And uh, if you look at his eyes, he has completely blacked out eyes. This is kind of um, reminiscent of when he had his, his eyes dyed. Of course, the art in uh, in these pieces of art aren't going to be completely accurate to the books. They never are, okay? The art is never completely accurate. But I would say this is one instance where it's really, really clear from this art that it is for B7. Now, yes, there are, you could make a few cases. There is a part where Billy cuts off his ears and Billy shaves his head. But this could be a specific part of that story. But that is what that is about, and I'm really interested to see where this fits in, and that's where you come into this, I think. I think that this is very obviously a reference to B7, or this is for B7, but where is this going to fit in? Like, we have the image, what is it for? What is Scott using this for? Is it going to be for another Ultimate Guide, or like another Freddy Files, sorry? Is there going to be another Freddy Files, which contains all of the information for the Tales from the Pizzaplex books? I have no idea, is it for a graphic novel adaptation of the Tales from the Pete's Blacks books? I don't know about that because we're only one novel adaptation through the Fazbear Frights. So, really the real question here is, this is for B7, but what is this overall for? Um, I think the art is really cool though, I've touched on it before, it's really cool. So um, I'm excited to see what it's for, and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, subscribe for more content like this. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.